So these were installed about a year and a half ago. And in Los Angeles, they require a disconnect for each one of the power walls. And that's what you see right here. Uh, there's a breaker box for each one. And then there's a disconnect for each one as well. And then there's a separate meter too. These are the uh, solar inverters. There's two of them because there's 36 panels. That's too much energy for one inverter. So here are two of them. And this system is actually designed to run independent of the grid. So the solar panels produce energy during the day. They put the power into the power wall. And then at night, we use energy off of the power wall to provide power to the house. One of the neat things about this system is that um, in the event of a power shutoff, like an earthquake or a forest fire, the house will operate solely off of the power wall and if the power was to be out for several days there's enough power in the power wall to turn on the solar system in the morning a lot of people don't know this but when you have just a solar system you are feeding power back to the grid and then pulling power from the grid and if the grid goes down you go down but with power wall you can store enough energy to use power your house in the evening time when there's no sun out Plus, a solar system takes a little bit of power to kick on in the morning. And if you're connected to the grid and the grid is down, you can't turn on your, power, your solar system. But with a Powerwall backup battery, you can actually turn on your solar system, or it'll do it automatically in the morning time when the grid is off. Now, these boxes are connected to the system as well. Basically, everything runs into here and this is called the backup load center. This is where all of your breakers are stored. And you can see there's a lot of room here left to add some more breakers. Um, this is the Tesla gateway. So this, I'm not even gonna try and open this because everything that's in here is for Tesla service only. This communicates directly with the internet and this is how they can um, adjust the software of the solar panels and the power wall remotely if they want to. And then this is the meter from LADWP, City of Los Angeles. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple system, as you can see. Like most Tesla products, the hardware is very cool, but the software is even cooler. The Tesla Powerwall app is pretty awesome. You've got a lot of choices here. One of the neat things is you can see exactly what it's doing right now. Solar is producing a small amount of energy because we're in December and it's early in the morning, so there's not a lot of sun exposure. So my house is pulling a little bit of power from the grid, but we're producing more power than we're pulling. And that power that we're producing is going to the power wall to charge up the battery. Here the battery, actually there's two of them, is at 50%. So it's um, going to fill up to 100% before it starts feeding power back to the grid. If we look at the backup history though, this is the part that's interesting to me. Yesterday, our power was out for five minutes. And during that time, power wall kicked on, so we didn't even know it was out. But uh, about a month ago, it was out for an hour and three minutes. And weirdly, we have these sort of rolling blackouts here where it's out for five minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, one minute, four minutes. Here it was back in May out for five hours though. February was out for an hour, but you can see it's, it's pretty regularly out for a few minutes. And that can be kind of frustrating. You're watching TV and suddenly your house goes dark for five minutes and you're wondering when is it gonna come back on? But with Powerwall, it is absolutely seamless. The lights might flicker a little bit, but your TV show will not stop at all when the power switches over to Powerwall. You can also customize um, all sorts of different settings. You can set it up so that you have 100% or just, I have it set up for 50% to be reserved for power outages. So it never uses more than 50% of its capacity. It's always standing by. And then Stormwatch is pretty cool. This interfaces with uh, the weather. And if there's gonna be um, a fire or you know um, a thunderstorm in your area, it will fill up to 100% and stand by for backup power. There's also a whole bunch of other things you can do in here where if you go to uh, power flow, you can actually see, okay, this is what my house has been using. 
here is what my solar production is for the day. Here is where the uh, power wall has been uh, charging. And then here's where my grid usage is. So there you go. This is just a really basic look of the app, but I highly recommend Tesla Powerwall. And uh, please uh, message me if you have any questions. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.